Do you sometimes have a problem focusing? Your laser, that is? Well, I sure do, but I found a solution and I want to share it with you guys. So let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share how I'm using this cheap but cheerful USB microscope to really refine my focusing dot on my ortho laser. So I picked up this USB microscope a few years back, did a review on it, bought it for really looking at 3D prints, and it's come in handy. Uh, however, when I got this ortho laser, I was having trouble really seeing the dot to get a good focus on it. So I figured, why not try this guy? So one of the things I did is I took this off of its regular stand, which looks like this. It's got the suction cup. Now, fortunately, this is a quarter 20. So if you have one of these, and I also have a link to this down below, you can just unscrew it from this. And then you see the tr uh, spider tripod stand that I made 3D printed. I'll have a link to this below. It's out on Thingiverse. Comes in handy to get it nice and low on the bed to get an image. And I'll have some, see if I can't put in like a side shot of this also uh, as an overlay so you can kind of see how it all lines up. So what I'm doing is I've actually got this USB microscope camera connected to the computer, which is over here, that runs Lightburn. So I'm just using the camera app inside of Windows to actually see what's uh, going on in the microscope. Now over here, this card is just basically for reference. So I uh, kind of borrowed it from the internet, made a couple modifications to it, and I sort of use this as a calibration. It's a, just an image of a microscope calibration card. So so I've got it taped to my material. Its thickness is pretty um, immaterial to the whole concept of the thickness of this cardboard. And I'm going to use this as my focus target. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to Lightburn. I'm going to activate the camera recording for the USB microscope as well as activate the laser. Now on Lightburn, it only fires for like about 30 seconds. And one of the things in Lightburn, I have this set to one half of 1%. So it's very light. You don't need a lot to get a focus. And actually the less, the better for trying to achieve focus. So I'm going to go ahead, activate the recording and uh, uh, also activate the laser. Okay, as you can see from the overlay I'll put in the corner, the laser is activated and you notice it's taking up pretty much uh, most of the larger circle. Now what I did is I rotated this uh, back to my right as I'm facing the machine. So I know to, to get a preferred focus, I've got to rotate it to the left. So I know where I'm at in my orientation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you've seen, I've basically reduced the dot to roughly half the size. And you notice it's got a little bit of an oblong shape. Now, this is normal. This is also handy if you want to compare different lenses too. Now, in a moment, the laser will kick off, but you pretty much got the idea here. Also, that, that sort of reflective area around the main core of the dot uh, really is part of the loss of the laser due to this lens. One of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying a G8 lens in this. Everybody claims it's a miracle lens. I've got one on order. I'm going to give it a shot. But until then, this is really a handy trick to get a really good focus on your laser. So hopefully you found this interesting. Again, links to all this stuff down below. I've also set up an ortho resource page, which you can find all this stuff on too. So if you want to go out there, I'll have the link to that also down there. So again, be safe. Swag shops up there. Hit the like button if you found this of value. Helps me out. And then subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Cheers and we'll catch you later. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.